it is time to decorate your house for fall. But this year, let's give the mini pumpkin cornucopia, dried corn, and wreath made of leaves a rest, okay? Because we have some fun, easy DIY projects that'll freshen up your home for fall. Are you tired of seeing the same fall decor items in the store year after year? I love doing seasonal decor, uh, and sometimes it can be a bit challenging trying to come up with cute seasonal decor ideas, so making your own is always a way I like to go. Well, to get you going, we spoke with Drew Scott, interior design DIYer of Lone Fox. First, a DIY fall floral arrangement. Most of the times, these large stems, when you go to the craft store, are between $20 and $30, and you need multiple of them. So we're going to be creating a budget-friendly option with some sticks from outside and just one stem. You're just going to go ahead and cut the leaves or florals off of the stem that you have. Then grab your hot glue gun. And we're going to actually be attaching these to our sticks that we found from outside. And it kind of creates more of this like Scandinavian sparse look, which I personally love with floral arrangements. So I'm just cutting them off and gluing them kind of sporadically on the stick where I feel like a leaf or a flower could sprout out of that stick. And then once you have all of them done, you can arrange them in a vessel, kind of mix them up and create a really beautiful arrangement. Next up, we're going to be customizing some taper candles and just gearing them a bit more fall. To do that, you'll need some faux leaves. And I'm actually using the same leaves that I used in the first project. And we're just using the silk flower itself. And I dipped that in some melted wax just from a taper candle piece that I had melted down in a double boiler and just stuck it right to the candle. It dries down perfectly and it's just going to adhere to the candle and almost become one with it. And I just feel like it gives it such a cute little motif added for your fall decor. And lastly, a dark wood acorn statue. This one is a little bit more advanced, I'd say, because we are going to be using a power tool for this one, but it's not hard at all. I decided to draw out an acorn shape on my three quarters inch plywood and I just did this by hand. And then I went in with the jigsaw and cut that shape out just very organically. And don't worry if you don't own a jigsaw. You can easily rent one for around 25 bucks at your local hardware store. The next step is to sand down the edges just to give them a little bit more of a clean finish. And then once you're done sanding that down, we can start assembling. Then you'll just need a dowel and wood stainer. I used the width of the dowel for my drill and I just drilled on either side of our base and our little motif that we cut out and then you can attach them using the dowel and stain it to your desired finish. And if you mess up on your DIY project, that's okay. I feel like a lot of times people kind of stress over their DIYs. They want them to be perfect, 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 but I actually love the imperfection with DIY. I feel like it gives each one its own like character and quality that's different from the last. We're getting your home ready for fall with some DIY fall decor.